Right then, today we're back in the Peak Districts. I've run about in my previous video, we're going to Wales, but we want to make that a two day weekend. So we've come to the Peak Districts and we're going to be heading up there, Old Man Caniston, whatever it's called. Old Man Caniston. I think that makes sense. So yeah, we're just sort of like getting stuff ready, get the waterproofs on, get us covered on his backpacks, and then we're going to head onto this path here make us way all the way up we can only see a certain amount on the map so we're just going to go with it for now overnight camp as usual no point coming all this way just to go home so what i'll do is i'm going to get down here i'll get backpack on get the hiking poles ready we'll crack on and i'll bring you back foot views right we're on the track now we're just going to keep Hiking up, you see at the top there you've got some weather coming in. I've got my waterproof coat on, but if it gets bad, I'll just put my waterproof pants on. Now, that's one thing I've learned. I know it might sound stupid after all these years of me doing this sort of stuff. Keeping my uh, dry sack with my waterproofs on the top of the bag, rucksack. Instead of putting them right at the bottom, I've done that a few times. Still a little school by errors. Ah, fresh air is nice on your lungs though. Yeah, it's good to be outdoors and there's somewhere fantastic like this again. Is it bedtime yet? <laughs> well, I am out of breath, but the views are opening up beautiful. Some part of the old pulling machine there. The views are opening up beautiful now. Little wench system over that side. So much history here, isn't there? What's that? Nineteen uh, sixteen ninety to nineteen sixty. Reckon that with a opening and shutting date for the place now, let's continue up there it's got more of these big cables all the way up these cables here they run all the way up to the uh, top there by the looks of it so if we get there, we'll have a look at it then. Well, that part of the pulley system's fallen there. Still keeps going higher up. Right, so I believe it or not, two or three minutes ago, you could see all the uh, the way up. He's where my mate is there. You got to go all the way up there. But a minute ago, that were seeable. You could see the other end of the like the pond. Now you can't. It's just suddenly came straight in. All the fog, all the mist. It's everywhere. Just like someone's just gone, there you go. Now you've seen, now you're not seeing. I know it's a minute ago on my watch. It's registering that I've stopped walking. But wow. That weather changed rapidly quick. Never seen it like that before.
now I've stopped my body's cooling down feeling a little bit nippy I'm going to get these rucksacks back on and we are going to be heading up there somewhere you can always see in front of yourself a little bit see it's clearing now if I turn you around you can just start to see the other side here so it's like it's just coming through we'll wait five minutes we'll see what it's like see it top there that's where we need to be so that's what I'm talking about absolutely perfect here isn't it well it's two we've got to tackle <laughs> the big hill <laughs> into you know we've got to get up there yet I can just see some people just up there because you can see straight away again the fog's coming back in it just cleared up a minute ago Right, I think we should start tackling this hill. I'll bring you back. Probably when we're at the top of it. And I'll show you the views if possible. But look how crystal clear this water is as well. Look how clear it is. You don't see that in Blackpool. <laughs> Not at all. Wow, what a view from up here. Still got a fair chunk to go, but you can't beat that view. Right, Whew. it's been a climb. I've only got there to go, so I thought I'd bring you back for this point. You set off walking up and it's not it's not that bad really but and then you hit like the uh, the quarry part where that building was and it gets like really hard work and then the last stretch of it it gets even harder and the fog comes in so you don't know if you're at the top or you're getting there and you see people and all the say you're nearly there keep going but yeah we're nearly there now 802 meters so far would have done when we get to the trigger point it's just there now so that's the trigger point not that one there one hour and three quarters it's takers taking should I say <laughs> yeah an hard one to reach really yes <laughs> yeah can't see not up here now I'm gonna have something to eat See if it clears up a little bit. I think one more touch, yeah. One more touch. Right, we're off again. I can't show you exactly because there's no there's no view. I'm gonna be hooping myself round. It's called Goat's Water. We get there on good time. Then uh, we'll see about blind tan, but goat waters mainly is target now to get to. Starting to open up a little bit now with the clouds. So I think once we get down there, where these people are walking up, we'll get a nice view of the valley. Let's keep walking a bit. It's 
So we are looking over goat water or goat water. You can just see like the clouds and then you get a little bit of sunshine and then the valley dip. Okay. So what it's all about getting out and getting it done. Right, we didn't go down to Goat's Water, we came up the other side of Old Man Coniston, climbed up top of here. It's very, very airy. It just feels right weird, you know, with the fog coming in. Yeah, so we climbed up another one. I'll just show you the drop here. Yeah. That is the drop. We never seemed just to do one of these. Last time we came out we did two as well. Yeah, nice. Wish the fog one here. So we could have a, a view of everything. So I bet that's fantastic. Beyond all that. Uh, we're just uh Hiking across now, sort of making his way really. Well, it's clear, I'll show you a few views because before you know it, like I said a minute ago, it just comes in again. There you see it, blind tan. There's already two people down there. Yeah, now we need to somehow hike over through the clouds again, the building back up. Probably drop down the other side of it here and come into it there. What a hike. You can just see now how the clouds are coming in. What do you want to call it? Cloud? Fog? Mist? Comment below and let me know. I'm going to say clouds. So many videos I've watched about this town and people coming up. So many videos. And now it's about to disappear. Right then. We're down. From the tops, I'm just walking down and round to Blind Town now. So the one spot that I've been wanting to come to for so long is just beyond this small hill. That's where we were this morning, right at there. We came back down here, up top of that one, but right at the other side, across that top. And then we came right round into this direction. But by God, I wanted to come here for so long. And I'm finally here. And it is thanks to my mate Keith as well. I wanted to come on the little journeys. Here we are. Here we are, people. Right, so I'm all set up within my tent. Four seasons in it. So it's dramatically different in the temperature inside the tent than it is outside. The night air is dropping now. And I just thought I'd quickly run you through a bit of the equipment that I'm using here. 
LED light bulb, connect that to your battery pack and then that uh, allows that to work to turn it off obviously. So I run you through like my sleeping setup, what I'm going to be eating and what I'm going to be using to make my food with and just other bits like that. So I know some people do find this part quite interesting. So this is my outdoor vital sleeping bag. It's probably going to be the last trip that I use it for this year now. My OEX sleeping bag liner. My Union Jack puller. My light tour sleeping pad 5.8 R rating I think that is. It's very warm anyway. You feel a lot of heat build up, bounce back at you. Pretty quick, even there I can feel you know, underneath my arm warm, hand warming up. And I've got like this foil mat underneath. Two reasons. To protect me sleeping mat from all on the ground plus it helps keep a little bit of heat reflecting back as well and stops the cold coming underneath so here i've got my like some sundic uh tent slippers some clothes base camp clothes revolution race use them tonight to get into my bed with Obviously some clean underpants, uh, some socks, got some toilet roll, a towel, got my head torch, the battery pack that I were on about. Uh, this has got like all the other bags and stuff inside it, tent bag and stuff. So my food is pasta cabanaro, minced beef, hot pot past the cabin again. The idea is having these two at the same time as one meal and breakfast I'm going to be having this. So I've got some gas, some water, I've got my pump, we can pump some water out of the town if I need some and then this is new to the channel in it, this is my new OEX stove, I've done a video on this not far down from this one in the listings. So I'm looking forward to getting that going. And that's basically everything what I've got in here, what I'm going to be using tonight. First thing, I'm going to get a coffee. I need something to drink. I think I may have brought out the wrong headlight. Headlight. How's it an head light? A uh, light, but I haven't got the right one. Right, let's get a drink on go. And I'll show you what I'm looking out to for my tent. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the view out of my tent door. What more do I need? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so the tent that I'm using tonight is the 3F Euro Gear Tai G2 Four Seasons. I brought this one because I just like, you know, the idea of being out of pitch first. I didn't know what the weather was going to be like before we set off. So we just like, grab one that I know is good, let's not be messing around. And it is a belter of a tent. Beautiful. Like I say, you really feel the difference when you're in the tent. To the temperature outside. But look at my view. Outstanding. Got my old stove on the go. Everything's sort of getting messed up now. So typical as it would go is the wind is blowing in from this way anyway, from the water to here. But I didn't want to come all this way and pitch my tent and looking out over that way. I wanted to see the water, the hills, 
So I have to deal with the uh, cold air coming in at the moment. Not a lot I can do about that. But the view is just absolutely banging. And my water's boiled already. To set. I don't know how long it takes. Eight minutes, I think. Yeah, there we go. Eight minutes. I'm gonna make a coffee and just enjoy. Oh, it's warming up nicely inside my tent now. I'm just about to have my uh, my first meal. Let's say the first course. Hmm. Cheese with ham, that's the main ingredients. Well, they're only cheap from go outdoors, but when you're hungry, like I am now, <laughs> they become a really nice meal to have. I did go to go outdoors to buy some, but they only had uh, the fire pot ones in, and these ones, and the wayfarers. I did go to the summit to eat ones, but they weren't there. Mm. I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel and to you guys who have been subscribed to my channel for a long time you know I really see my numbers go part time now it's a positive thing for myself as well so if you have subscribed recently thank you very much if you've been subscribed for a while thank you very much and if you're not subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button it's just down below I always say press the bell button whenever I upload a new video you'll just be told about it really then it's down to you to watch or not I'm really enjoying this. I can't get it down enough. Mm. I'll bring it back in a bit. Right, we're gonna go up here. There's some like a uh, small abandoned sort of mine houses, so we're gonna go have a look up there. Be interesting to see that. The wind's died down again. It seems to come and go really. But yeah, we're gonna head up there and have a look. I'll bring you back when we're up there. Now I am sorry for the heavy breathing. I've noticed it through quite a lot of the video. Remember I'm walking uphill, get out of breath, and plus I've been hiking out a day with my uh, rucksack on my back. So, you need to get out of breath obviously, don't you? building it's not very big is it would have been better in the days look at that some thick walls there mate poor little tent there very easily There we go in the house.
Very low. Must have been sharp people back then. Little fireplace. Very cool. So much history. I wonder if this is where they're sat. Like this. Getting a bit of heat off the fire. It's a perfect little wind block in here. Straighten that out, you know. Chuck some of these off. Could easily get a little air mat on there. Bang his sleeping bag down. views yeah that's it it's one building well one standing let's say this would be all right if they did it as one of them bovers up here wouldn't it we can come and take rescue in case the wind's bad or the rain or just anything to do with the weather I can't believe it we're right up there this morning and then we walk, like I say, all the way down. We dip right down back up to this one, but further on, right across that ridge line up there, or the ridge. What a gorgeous place. Well, look what we've found. too far in at all by myself anyway I don't fancy getting all the way inside there whatever's in here you can keep your little house <coughs> I'll enjoy this instead Right, it's finally got dark. We've made his way into his tents. Temperature dropped pretty, pretty quick as well. So this time I'm having minced beef and hot pot. And then once again, a nice cup of coffee. Oh. Might seem very dramatic, but when you haven't had one for a while, and you need a drink. That coffee is just everything. You might do it if you like tea or stuff like that. Oh yes. Right. I'm gonna go and eat my dinner. I'll bring you back soon. Right, I've climbed myself into my sleeping bag. My arm, um, oh, so comfortable. Hey. It's been a long, long day, honestly. We started hiking up the uh, old man canister and it was like, oh, can't do this. And then crapped on with it really, as you've seen. And went down the back side of it and up the next one and crossed them there. And then we came down to here. It's a cracking end, really, to the day. Once again, I appreciate you all for watching. I hope we stay around till morning. For you, it'll be a split of a second anyway. Well, thanks for watching. Well, what a glorious view to wake up to.
for you it's been a couple of minutes, not even that really, a couple of seconds. Keeps the work. Yeah. Ugh. I think it's time I wake up a bit, innit? <sighs> Worst part of all this for me is, you know, packing your stuff away. It always seems to take me ages. Seems to be like one step at a time, stop, have a little think. <laughs> yeah, well, best crack on it. Right, all packed up and ready to go. Quick look at the uh, blind town again. Long time thinking about you, now we've done you. At the beginning of the video, I said we were in the uh, Peak districts, not we're in the Lake districts. It's just my dyslexia. I get things mixed up. I think we all know that now. If you're a follower of my channel, but yeah, it might not matter what the name is. It was excitement, hiking, out of breath, <laughs> and all that stuff for being here, exploring this. It's been brilliant. Right, as soon as we get on track, I'll bring you back. So we're just making his way down, as you can see. This part of the path is move that way, wherever it is. Something's in front of the camera there wobbling around in it. There we go. Yeah, this part of the path is a little bit hard going. You've got to really be careful where you put your feet. It seems to get a little bit better about there. Once again, the views are opening up. If you go this way, follow the, let's say, snake path down to the bottom. It leads you back to the car park. So many times I've seen this on other people's videos. So many times. 